company that golf wars amidst some bouts of rain, I wandered off from camp to visit Porta Privy Lane. Though dark clouds loomed near the sky, it threatened more to come. I worried not for just a little rain and thunder's drum. But as I settled down to do my business on the john, not half a second passed before I heard the tempest spawn. A wall of rain smacked hard against the privy's plastic frame, and I felt, felt the small group shudder as the wind the howling came. At first, I wasn't worried for the storm's returning rage, for many storms had passed that day as war we tried to wage. But as the howling increased and the rocking winds began to shake the privy where I sat and tried to use the can, the rain began to penetrate the fence up near the top, and I shook as chilly rain upon my skin began to drop. The privy shook with violent force and rocked me in my core, and I thought, now might be time to bolt out the privy door. As this thought came to me and I prepped to face the storm, a loud and thumping racket told me hail became the norm. I faced a small dilemma as I peered out through the crack, watching rain and hail on some poor soul smack. <laughs> to stay inside the privy and face a blue and brown demise, or charge forth from the stall with pelting hail from, from the sky. The privy shuddered harshly and forced me to decide that safely in its plastic I could scarcely longer bide. I threw the door wide open and into the tempest ran with little time to contemplate a newer safety plan. But Lady Luck was with me as the rain abruptly stopped as a wind gust on the privy door behind me sharply knocked. And quickly was I soaking wet amidst the pounding rain as I hurried back to camp down the path by which I came. The story was not over as the winds increased in time, but that is for another story and another rhyme. Thank <laughs> you.